What about you? And welcome to another Premier Lawns video. I am Robbie from Premier Lawns, a lawn care company based in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Today, I'm going to show you five simple steps to a perfect lawn. Welcome back to five simple steps to a perfect lawn. Now, before we begin, if I can ask you to hit that like button, and if you don't already subscribe, make sure you subscribe for more content like this and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out any future videos. Step number one, air rating. Air rating is the single most important and it's the best thing you can do for your lawn. Over time, your lawn gets compacted. All the rain we get here in Ireland really compacts down the lawn. Even cutting the lawn will compact it. If you want to get the best out of your lawn, you need to be thinking about aerating it every year. It's important as it keeps the soil profile open. Whenever the soil profile is open, it encourages the grass to grow deeper roots. And deeper roots mean the plants can store more nutrients and that leads to a healthier lawn. That leads on to step number two, scarification. Scarification is used to remove thatch and moss out of your lawn. To explain what thatch is, it's an old dead organic material that's in your lawn. Whenever you cut your grass, not all of it goes into the grass box, so all of it goes back down into the lawn. And this is thatch. Some lawns create more thatch than other lawns. It just depends on the type of lawn and the type of grass, how much thatch will be in the lawn. Thatch would also make your lawn very spongy to walk on. Main trouble with thatch in your lawn is it stops the surface from drying out. So if you get a lot of rain, the water sits on the surface and it can't penetrate down into the roots. So it sits on the surface and because the water can't get anywhere, this creates the perfect conditions for the moss to grow in. Here in Northern Ireland, we know all about moss because it's so damp all the time. The only way to get rid of the moss and the thatch properly is to scarf that out and your lawn will absolutely love you for it as long as you're scarfing at the right times of year, spring and autumn. Step number three to creating a perfect lawn is mowing your lawn. Now, I know this is basic, but so many people get this bit wrong and their lawn suffers as a result. The golden rule, never take more than a third off your lawn whenever you're cutting the grass. The reason for this is simple. Every time you cut your lawn, you put it under stress. If you take too much off the lawn, it's going to suffer. I recommend little and often, that's the key. It also pays to make sure that the blade is sharp on the lawnmower so you're always getting a clean cut. I see lots of people cut their lawn to within an inch of its life and then wonder why the lawn looks terrible. The only thing cutting your grass short does is it encourages weeds like daisies and clover improve your lawn. If you just follow this one simple step, raise the height of the cut of your lawnmower to nearly its highest setting, but not the highest setting, and cut it on a regular basis, as you're not cutting any more than one third off it in any one cut. Do this one thing and your lawn will dramatically improve, and guess what's the best thing about it? It's free. I recommend that you should treat your lawn. For your lawn to look its best, 
it needs a good treatment program to be in place. But I'm not really going to get into that in this video because that's a video in itself. Step number five, creating stripes. I love my stripes in a lawn and I'm going to let the guys in, in a, a trade secret in creating the perfect lawn stripes. Double cut your lawn if you want those perfect stripes. What I mean by that is go over the same stripes twice and this burns them in. After you cut the lawn, they'll stay visible for longer. They'll start to show up for days after you mow the lawn. If you do this regularly, they'll always show up even through winter. However, it's really important that you don't just always go either up or down or left or right. You need to change the direction of your cut, every other cut. Otherwise, the grass starts to lie over and whenever it lies over, it causes things like disease and it can even make your lawn bumpy. If you can spare the time once you're cutting your lawn, the lawn will look a million dollars if you do it on a regular basis. If you've enjoyed this video, if you can smash that like button down below, it really helps me out and it really helps me grow the channel. Subscribe for more content like this. If you've enjoyed this video, there's a couple of other videos that I think you'll really enjoy. Moss control on a small lawn and scar fan area, a large lawn. So listen guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.